Uh, let me tell let me, you want to talk about Jeanette Rankin, who is one of my favorite people. Mm -hmm. So Jeanette Rankin was the first woman elected to Congress. She was elected before uh, women's suffrage was passed the constitutional amendment uh, from Montana. She was elected in 1916. She was one of a handful of people to vote against the U.S. going into the Great War, which was the right call at the time. She was a pacifist, Republican as well, coincidentally. She lost her seat, ran again in, was it 1940? Got the seat again, uh, and was the only person to vote against getting into World War II. It was not a unanimous choice. The, Jeanette Rankin was the one person, and she said, you can no more win a war than you can win a hurricane. So she's one of these interesting, and talk about bravery. You're the one vote after Pearl Harbor to say, we're not doing this. And I mean, the pressure she must've been under at the time is, uh, and of course, many people are not interested in hearing her perspective. Oh, she's crazy, she's evil, blah, blah. It's also funny, someone on my Twitter, when I talked about her goes, maybe she had Hitler's symp sympathies. Like, yeah, Ms. Rankin was a big fan of Hitler. That's what, you, you figured it out, guys. Do you think there's an argument to be made that United States should not have gotten involved in World War II? Oh, easy, an easy argument. The argument, there's a, I talk about this in the new right. So, on internet circles, there's something called Godwin's Law, which means the longer an internet conversation goes on, the probability someone gets compared to Hitler becomes one. Um, in certain new right circles, the longer the conversation goes on, the more likelihood that the argument will become we shouldn't have ended World War II also becomes one. And the argument is, at the very least, stay back, let Hitler and Stalin kill each other off, and then go in and knock off the weaker one. And you're gonna be saving destroying two nightmare systems. And I think that's an easy argument to make. Now it's hard to pull off after Pearl Harbor, but in terms of strategy, I don't think that's a that's a tough uh, uh, sell. What about after Pearl Harbor? I mean, that's what I was saying, after Pearl Harbor, how are you gonna sell it to the people? The argument is blah, blah, the Holocaust. The, the Holocaust, is, there's no scenario where that doesn't happen really, if you're, uh, unless you're going in way earlier. But even so, Hitler had said, if the Jews launch another war, you know, we're gonna wipe them from the face of the earth. So the, the Jews are being held hostage by Hitler as an argument for this. Another thing he did, which was, you know, diabolical, is in order to make it that people could not accept Jews as refugees, if they were gonna leave Germany, they had to be penniless. So now you have, it's not like they're coming over with money and they can take care of themselves. No, no, they're gonna be completely destitute. It makes who, it harder to accept them, yeah. Millions of destitute people who don't speak the language, it's, it's, it's a tough sell.